YouTube, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, it is your boy Zay. Today we'll be starting on the journey of Goku's arc episode 1 of Dragon Ball Spark and Zero and what led to me drawing the Great 8 Vegeta. If you guys ever watched Dragon Ball Z Kai, this is a very familiar scene to you guys. We start off with Raditz making a random appearance on planet Earth, pretty much explaining why he's here and uh, pretty much where he come from and who in his relation to Goku, aka Kakarot, which is his same name. Not only that, but basically telling Goku how he wants him to join him in two of the Saiyans in their rites of passage of taking over the planet. And of course, Goku being Goku tells Raditz like, hey, straight up, shut your mouth. That's not happening at all. Then we proceed to fight Raditz for the very first fight of this episode. That child behind you, is that your son? He, he's not. Yes, that boy indeed has Saiyan blood. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from here. So what if he does? You know, perhaps you need a little time to decide. I'll just borrow your son for a while so you can think over my offer. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! What's wrong? What's wrong? Tremble in fear. We're settling this right here and now. After the battle, Raditz pretty much gives Goku a set of demands to complete within the time frame, and if not, then basically he's gonna kill Gohan. Then he takes off, like a goon he is, with Gohan in his hand, and shortly after, guess who appears? Big headed ass Piccolo. Piccolo? What? What are you doing here? I was pursuing him. And as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself, the sad truth is I have a better shot at that if you were along for the ride. Hold on, you mean team up with me? Why in the world would you ever do that? Don't get the wrong idea. This would just be a temporary alliance, only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet. Once that purpose has been served, I'll keep my promise to crush you. Then I can get back to my plans of world domination. Bulma, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar. Oh, of course. Let's go! Think you can keep up with my flying Nimbus? You gotta be kidding. I'm a cut above the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. So basically, right, Goku and Piccolo spin the block on the boy Raditz, you feel what I'm saying? And apparently he has Gokhan trapped in some small ass space pod. Probably smells like shit, considering the fact that Raditz was in there for years, flying to Earth. Then Raditz tells Goku how useless as, as hell he'll be joining the team of the Saiyans. And uh, pretty much there's no point in him changing his mind at this point because either way he's going to destroy the planet. So, hey, what can you do now? Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer, and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. 
And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! Behind you! Yeah. Behind you! Let me show you my close <laughs> ah, you know, this is hard. Oh my goodness. Get ready to see real You've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Yeah. Only problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you my full strength. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Behind you. Whoa. How about this? Say goodbye, Kakarot! What the power? At this point, I'm sure Gohan's like, damn, it smells like straight shit in there. I gotta get out. <laughs> Level 1307? Don't hurt my dad! Leave him alone! No, stop! Don't do it! Please, he's just a... Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again? In the next world? What? You little... P Piccolo! Your attack! Do it now! Uh, are you insane? Maybe, but... It's the only way to beat you! Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? Do it! No! Stop! Special Beam Cannon! On this planet, we have these things called the Dragon Balls. Gather all seven, and together they have the power to grant any wish. Even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all... Go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. The, the other two Saiyans? When... When will they arrive here? How long? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll... Soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> At this point, Vegeta and Nappa make their way to Earth finally after years of traveling, and simply put, 
come in and give the work to the Z Fighters, killing Yamcha and Piccolo while Goku's on his way back from training with Kid Kai. Now, with that being said, finally, Goku pulls up to the scene and he comes to make a statement perfect for Nappa to hear. <laughs> How's it feel seeing your little friend's corpses scattered all over? There was another one, but there's probably not a scrap of him left. Piccolo's gone. What, you gonna throw a fit, small fry? Go right ahead. <laughs> that stupid look on your face just makes me want to kill you faster. Pay for this! You'll both pay! You bastards! Out of my way! Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? That scout is a piece of junk! It's gotta be a mistake! Doesn't matter. A little punk like you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa! Vegeta, help me! What? What? Vegeta! Vegeta! No! I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. You're dead white. Vegeta. He's a psycho. He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason. Both of you need to get back to Kame House where it's safe! But... Dad, I... No, he's right. You saw what that other Saiyan can do. If we stick around, we'll only be getting in your dad's way. Sorry, Gohan. This guy's stronger than I thought he'd be. We've lost enough. I can't lose you two either. Okay. I understand, Dad. As we can all see, Vegeta is highly pissed that Goku just pulled up to the scene like it was nothing and he handed out Nappa the biggest L of his life. So what does he do? Straight up blows him to pieces, like Vegeta, 
straight up savage and then of course goku sends krillin and his son gohan away from the battle team so that he can take on vegeta himself let's finish this someplace else fine by me makes no difference okay this spot should do from what i can tell there's no people or animals nearby interesting of all the places on your planet, you chose this as your grave site. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Not every low-class warrior gets the chance to spar with a super elite like myself. Not long after Saiyans are born, their skills as a soldier are tested. The scum whose scores are ranked the lowest are sent to the outer worlds, where the opponents are weak, much like you were, Kakarot. In other words, you were cast out like a dog. Yes, and as a result, I was lucky enough to come here to Earth. I'm grateful for that. Besides, even a lower-class outcast can surpass an elite if he puts his mind to it. <laughs> it's a nice attempt at a joke. Now let me show you a wall that you will never have the ability to scale through effort alone! just cost you this world! What the? There's no way in hell that you can stop my gallic gun! You and this whole planet are as good as space dust! Okay, so now we get to some heavy shit. Literally, when I tell you everything after this fight was straight up heavy hitting, yeah, it pissed me off. So as you can see, pretty much Goku does his thing and Vegeta sends up this weird looking shaped sphere into the sky, which turns out to be a moon. And then something else happened afterwards. Check this out. Burst open and mix! Huh? What was that? What are you planning? You really should have never gotten rid of your tail, Kakarot. But now you'll learn firsthand what a Saiyan is really capable of. 
you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger! I don't think it's my dad's energy we're sensing, is it? Something's wrong! I'm going back there! Go on, hold up! I'm going too! Wait! <laughs> Don't blink, Jackarot! These will be your final moments before I crush you! A am I losing my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I fight this thing? <laughs> Since when were we dealing with a hundred foot tall monster? Only choice now is to gather energy from all over the Earth and make a spirit bomb! So pretty much Goku sends off his finishing blow to Vegeta, which only does enough damage to temporarily kick him down, but then he gets back up, only this time ready to kick my shit in. Pause, that sounded crazy. But after that, Vegeta turns into like his infamous grade 8 form and absolutely goes to work on me fighting as Vegeta. Pause. Did I say pause? Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I died so many times to like this big ass ape that it pretty much took me damn near an hour to finally beat him, and it's absolutely crazy because it felt like I was playing an actual player who knew but didn't know how to play the game. The only thing he knew how to do was use the spam keys and he just spammed the same combos over and over again. So at the start of each match, when I restarted the match to uh, after I died, pretty much the same combination of moves the great ape would use and would literally put him into like a combo frenzy, which, which ultimately led me to, you know, getting so pissed. So I came to the idea of pretty much for every chapter, whoever the last villain was at each chapter, I was gonna draw them for the video. Thus me uh, pretty much drawing the great ape as you guys see on the screen right now. And yeah, like ultimately, like I end up beating them finally after like an hour and a half almost. I end up switching the difficulty to easier or lower than normal and ended up winning. So yeah, there's that. <laughs>